Okay, now, this is a little bit more complex, but I've set it up so it's easy. It looks really confusing, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, we have all these things, this parentheses, we, that's a 4, x to the second power, y to the third power, and then there's a third power here. Then we have a 2, x to the fourth power, y to the second power, and then there's a 4 right here. What I need to do is simplify the expression. You're not solving for x or y. You just need to simplify that because right now it's confusing. So here's the process you're going to use to simplify it. I have written down all the bases. We had a big base 4, that comes from here. A big base 2, that comes from that one right there. X, well I have two X's right here and right here. But I only have one of them, you'll see why here in a second. And then for the Y's, I've got one here and here. I only have one of them, so that's what that's for. Okay, now here's what you need to do first. You've got to make sure, we're going to do the 4 first, figure out the 4. Okay, now the 4 doesn't really have a power with it, so I'm going to put a 1 right there. Okay, you want to put a 1, so it's 4 to the first power. Okay, you need to put a 1. Now I have a simple question. Is this 4 inside of a parenthesis? Yes. So if it is, you need to take the 1 and do the power to a power multiplication with this 3 that's out here. Okay? You're going to be taking 1 times 3. What's 1 times 3? Three? 3. So the 4 is going to have a power of 3. Because this 3 here belongs to everything in here. But if there's already a power, I want to multiply 1 times 3. Okay, and that's the only 4 I have, so we can move on to the 2. Now the 2. 2 is not to a power, so it's automatically to the 1 power. Okay, 2 to the first power. Now, is that in a parentheses? Yes, it is. What power is outside here that belongs to everything in that parentheses? A 4. So I have to use my power to a power. I need to take this 1 times 4. 1 times 4. That's 4, okay? Okay, now, x. Let's look at the first x. What power is it to? 2. Is that in a parentheses? Yeah, everything in that parentheses belongs to this 3 out here. So I need to take the 2 that's there times 3. What is 2 times 3? 6. So x is going to be to the 6 plus, now why are you writing a plus? Well, because there's another x here. What power is that one to? It's to the 4th, but it's in a parentheses. And the outside is a 4. So you have to do a power to a power. So 4 times 4. What is 4 times 4? 16. So to find your x power, you have to take 6 plus 16. Again, 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 times 4 is 16. Whenever that's in a parentheses, you need to draw that rainbow from one power to the other. 6 plus 16 is 22. So the x is to the power of 22. Okay, now y. Here's, remember, there's two of them. Here's the first one. It's to the third, but it's in the parentheses, so i got to take it times the outside three. What's three times three? Nine. Comma, because there's another y. That's to the two, but that's in a parentheses. Everything in the parentheses belongs to the four, so what's two times four? Well, eight, okay? So nine plus eight. And you're going to add because it's multiplication across here. You're always going to add them on this. Okay. 9 plus 8 is 17. Okay. Now, what's this box for? Well, I need to figure out what the 4 to the 3rd equals. So 4 to the 3rd means 4 times 4 times 4. Okay, 3 fourths. So 4 times 4 times 4. 64. So I write 64 and then a dot, and I need to find out what 2 to the 4th is equal to. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Not just 2 times 4, it's 16. Okay. So I've got 64 times 16. 
Now you got x to the sec, 22nd. But the problem is with the letter, you can't really figure that out. So you leave it as x to the 22nd power. Because there's no way that doesn't, you don't know what the base is there. And then that, that's the same thing with the y. y to the 17th, I just leave it the way it is because it's a letter. Now, the last thing, when you have these two, you need to multiply them. 64 times 16. 1,024. So cross that out and put 1,024. That's simplified. That's how you do it. Okay, my next problem. So I have all your bases written, so let's go find our three, the big three. Not, not the little powers, the big three. Okay, here's my big three. It doesn't have a power, so it takes a first power. Okay, it's a one automatically. Okay, is that, in, is that three in a parentheses? Yeah, and everything in the parentheses belongs to this three, so we need to take one times three. What is one times three? Three, so it's going to be a three. And that's the only big number three I have, so now I move on to the two. What did power would two be two? What would two have? Well, it doesn't have a power, so it'd be to the first. But is the 2 in a parentheses? No, there's no parentheses around the 2, so it does not get multiplied. We keep the power of 1. Okay. All right, C. Now I have 1C, 2 right there, um, second power. Is that in a parentheses? Yeah. Okay, what's the outside power of the parentheses? A 3. So we need to take... 2 times 3. What is 2 times 3? 6. Okay. And now let's go look at the D. Now there's two D's here, so that means we're going to have a plus. And the first D is to the fourth power. Is that in the parentheses? What's the outside power of the parentheses? 3. So we got to take the 4 times the 3. What's 4 times 3? 12. Plus, because I have another D, okay? And that D is to the second power, but there's no parentheses around it. So we're just going to put the 2 there. I don't need to use the power to power. I can't. It's not in a parentheses. So 12 plus 2 is 14, okay? All right, now let's figure these out, the ones we can anyway. 3 to the third would be 3 times 3 times 3. It would be 3 factors of 3. And that equals 27. So I put 27. 2 to the 1, well, that's just one factor of 2. So that's going to just be 2. Okay, that's a letter. So I can't really do the math with a letter. So I just times C to the 6th. And the D is a letter, too. So times D to the 14th. Then we need to times those two. We need to take 27 times 2. That is 54, okay? 54 times c to the 6th power times d to the 14th. You're not solving for the letters, you're just simplifying them, okay? Okay, here we go. So I've got five. Find all your big fives. You have two of them, here and here. So there's going to be a plus going on. So five, okay? 5 to the 1, because it didn't have a power. Now, outside that parentheses is a 3, so we have to use our power to power, okay? So 1 times 3 is 3, plus, because I have another 5, okay? And that's to the 1. If I don't see a power there, it's a 1. And then I need to take, outside that parentheses sits a fourth power, so I need to take 1 times 4, and that's 4. Okay, and that's the only, 3 plus 4 is 7, so 5 to the 7th power. Now let's look at our 2, look for the big 2, not the little one. That's a 2 outside there, sorry you can't see it, that's a 2. But that's a little 2, that's a power exponent. I'm looking for bases of 2. Well, here's my big base. Doesn't have a power, so it's to the 1. Is it in a parentheses? Yeah. Okay, so outside that, parentheses is a 2 power. So if it's to 1 times 2, what's 1 times 2? Two? 2. 
Okay, and I don't need to plus because that was the only big two I had. All right, X's, how many of them are there? There's one, two, three. So we'll have two pluses on this one. The first X is to the one because there's nothing there, but that's in a parentheses. So I need to take one times the three that's out there. What's one times three? Three plus next X, it'd be to the one. Is that in parentheses? Yeah, so I need to take the one times the two that sits there. That's two. And then there's a third X, so I need to plus again, okay? That's a two right there to the second. I don't need to put a one. If it's, there's already a power there, it's to the second. But it's in a parentheses, and everything in that parentheses is to the fourth. So I use my power to power times. Okay, two times four is eight. So what's three plus two at plus eight? Well, three plus two is five, and five plus eight is 13. So x is to the 13th power. Okay, now we have y. How many y's are there? One and two. Okay, so the first y would be to the one power. Is that in a parentheses? Yeah. So I'm going to take one times uh, three. And what's one times three? That's three. Um, here's my other y. It's to the third power. Is it in parentheses? Yeah, what's outside? A fourth power. So I do my 3 times 4. What's 3 times 4? 12. 3 plus 12 is 15. Okay. All right, 5 to the 7th. I can figure that out. That's going to be fun, though. 5 times 5 times 5, 4, 5, 6, and 7. <laughs> Yikes. Seventy-eight thousand one hundred and twenty-five. Okay, write it. Times two to the second. That'd be just two and two. That equals four. Two factors of two. Okay, x to the thirteenth. That's a letter, so we can't figure that out. Okay, because I don't know what my base is other than the fact that it's represented by a letter. And then y to the fifteenth. Okay, and then I want to times these two. Okay, with these two, these two answers, I'm going to need to multiply. So 78,125 times four is 312,500. Okay, then the last problem. So go find your big base three, not the little threes. Not, these are little powers. You're looking at for bases, the big numbers. Here's the big three. There's only one of them. Only one big three. That's a little three. That's a little three. Here's the big three. What power is it to? Well, if there's no power there, it's to the first. Is that in a parentheses? Yeah. What's the outside power? Three. So I need to take one times three. What's one times three? Three. So you put a three there. Okay, now the 11. What power is the 11 to? Well, probably the 1 because there's no power there. But it's in a parentheses and I have a 2 out there. So I need to take 1 times 2. What's 1 times 2? Two? 2. So 11 to the second. Okay, x's. How many x's are there? There's two of them. So remember, we're going to have to add some exponents. So the x is to the second. But again, that's in the parentheses. So you need to draw that rainbow so you can see, okay, I need to take 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, plus, because there's another x, and that's to the third power, but that's also in a parentheses, and that outside exponent is 2, so you got to take 3 times 2. What's 3 times 2? Probably 6, so 6 plus 6 is 12. Okay, now your y, how many y's you got? You got 2. So this first y didn't have a power, so it's to the 1. But it's in a parentheses, so we got to take 1 times 3, 3. Plus, this y here is to the 5th power, but it's in the parentheses too. So I need to take 5 times 2, and that's 10. Okay, and 3 plus 10 is 13. Okay. Okay, so 3 to the 3rd, let's figure that out. That's 3 times 3 times 3. That equals 27. So I, that 
is equal to 27. Now I can find what this is equal to as well. I can take two factors of 11 and times them, and that equals 121. Okay, you can't really figure out x to the 12th because you don't know what the base x actually is. So it's x to the 12th that just keep, stays as a power, and then y to the 13th. Okay, take 27 times 121. Again, these have to be times. Replace that product with, replace that multiplication with the product, 27 times 121. I got 3,267. All right, guys, and then you have two of them to do on your own. You get one on each page, front, back.